One six five six four. One six five six four. Ren, at the end of the cul-de-sac. Mm, sac. Did I say sac? Cul-de-sac. That was just weird. <laughs> So we are about to throw a grand opening event for this beautiful house that we're here today filming. I usually get here before we go live with the property to do my little walkthrough and kind of give a little bit of a sneak peek of a house. And then we go live and then we throw this grand event where we invite close to 600 people and there'll be entertainment and food and alcohol and valet service and lights and anything and everything you can imagine. An incredible party to have. We usually will do that for our houses as we're listing in. All right, so let's do the walkthrough. Do you want to take your phone? Should we start from over there so we could get the number in? It'd be so cool if we could um, get the gate open to show that it's private. Oh, sir, sir, do you know how to, we are trying, we're entering the code, but it's not closing. Okay, so let me close it. And then I'm gonna, but if I use the code to open it, it'll open, right? Okay. And will you close it again? <laughs> All right. Okay. Sir. Sir, can you open? It's not working. There are so many small details that you have to remember and not miss. You're making sure that you're doing everything to showcase the house the right way. Usually, a day before the event and the day of, I'm, the girls know. They're like, she's in the zone. When it comes to party planning, it's a job of its own and it's really just like the creativity and then how big the actual builder of this brand new construction wants to go. Usually, I will visit the house and get the feel for it. Just really figure out what kind of theme we're going with, what exactly we want to see, what kind of entertainment we want to get. Normally, I will run a couple of details with the builder and ask him what he's comfortable with. Are we okay with <laughs> fire show or swaying violinist or champagne girl? Do we want food? If we do, what kind of food do we want? We want sushi. Are we okay having sushi inside the house? Or should we set up a bar outside? And just really just going over the details. And ultimately, we're working for the person who's created this beauty and this vision of the house. So after I get my approvals, I will then come and visit the house and really just get the feel for it. Every house is so different and it has its own areas and specific details that you wanna showcase. We definitely want to get the crowd out here and showcase this incredible, this is what will sell the house ultimately. But also we want people to go inside the house. So we'll definitely, because of the rooftop, probably do a station there or so. We are calling our top agents of the valley inviting them to come preview the house for potentially they might have somebody for this house We're letting the neighbors and the agents know that we have arrived this house is officially on the market and this is the grand oh, opening man. it's like a property reveal tour and it's you know the builder spends so much time building these massive projects i mean sometimes it takes years to build this masterpiece so for them it's like, you know, showing off your child. It's your child's first birthday party where you invite your closest friends and your clients and colleagues, other builders, to just really show off what you've done with this place. And it's, it's definitely an event that is very, very special. It's not just like a open house. It's definitely like the grand opening. So it's really exciting. Every single person that walks in, I mean, the house speaks for itself, but you want to make sure to have those like wow factors. It's completely unforgettable. People will talk about this house for years. Do you remember that house the party you went to? You know, I just want everything to go perfect and smooth and a lot of times with these parties, even though we have the RSVP count, a lot of people don't RSVP and then they show up and all of a sudden 
the three, four hundred people event becomes into five, six hundred people. Listen, people will come through, they'll put whatever they need on their plate and they're gonna go enjoy the house. No, oh, Belly's not here. She's not here. We should close the gate. I, I want someone to talk to her. 